campaigning for a healthier future. Thousands of doctors, nurses and academics from 16 different organisations are collectively tackling climate change. They're calling on the government to lead the way internationally. And they say it's not just the planet that will benefit. Climate change itself is a threat, but also we have this great opportunity if we put health and fairness at the centre of climate policy and climate action in New Zealand, that we could have some really exciting gains for health and for fairness in New Zealand. The call to action preempts the United Nations global climate negotiations in December. Climate and Health Council members say well-planned action to reduce carbon emissions will improve health and well-being locally and overseas. And they say the best way forward is for the government to commit to making New Zealand carbon zero by 2050. These targets are fully achievable. The sticking point now is the political will to do it, um, as well as the influence that that uh, large multinational fossil fuel companies have on, on national policies. Climate change is predicted to transform the world forever, with higher sea levels, warmer days and more extreme weather. The council says that will have a negative effect on people's health and livelihood, but changes at the community level can help. Moving people out of their cars and into public transport and walking and cycling, uh, we know that will be fantastic for people's health um, as well as for the climate. Council members are planning to continue lobbying the government to take more action. They are hoping their pleas will see New Zealand emerge as a leader during this year's UN Climate Conference. Ruby McAndrew, 39, Dunedin News.